Hello everyone, and welcome back to POV Gaming, where we're back again in Train Station Renovation. Alright, so last episode we were dealing with a homeless problem in a very large station. That station was huge on what we had to do. So, we got eight, we got eight skill points. I'm going to double check here. A screwdriver, we got the airbrush. Can't really afford that yet. Now, this is an option. And... You know what, we're gonna go with this one. I, I believe this is the how many times I can ping in a row. So let's go with that. I originally thought I was never gonna buy these ones. because They're so gamey, but sometimes you do need those pings to help you out. All right, let us proceed. Alrighty, we're gonna be in Playford Hills. Info. The station is operating, however, because of the experience with the railway elements, we have been asked to help with the repair of the turntable found near the station. However, a locomotive has been reported damaged, and we need to repair it so that we can reach the turntable. After we reach the turntable, we see that it has been neglected for quite, quite a long time. We have to clean the surrounding area and make sure that the movable elements are not rusty and to repair its mechanisms. Alrighty, sounds straightforward enough. I believe this is gonna be a night. Yeah, it looks to be a night map. Huh, this place looks pretty cool. Alrighty. Hope everybody's having a a decent day. It's a cold one for me where I live. It is. It is starting to get pretty frosty out there. All right. Let's turn on our flashlight right away. Okay, so right away I see that we have a bin option right outside. And... Right off the hop, we just got some... Some stuff here and there. Alright. Not too bad, I guess they did say the station was operating, so... Take a quick peek. Everything that needed to be fixed. This room looks all right. Let's fix that up. I like how we're <laughs> we're we're dismantling one door for another, and the the new door actually doesn't look that incredibly great. It's just a steel door. This one looked a little bit more aesthetically pleasing with the glass. Okay, these offices seem to be alright. Oh, we have a second floor. Let's give it a quick look. I like the color choice here. It's really nice. Alright. Got ourselves a blue screen of death here. That's like a straight up blue screen. Alright. Let's go ahead and check this office. It looks like this office seems to be in pretty good working order. So, we're going to continue on. Oh, you almost tricked me. I was like, there's no way they would have built this whole office for me to not fix something, right? Okay, that seems to be it. This one seems to be pretty good. You know what? I need to definitely double check and pay attention to what I'm doing. Because stuff like this will get away from me. There we go. That's a bit better. Because it's weird. Sometimes the lighting effects do a decent job of uh, giving you a heads up. Like, oh yes, this is this light is flickering. It's in bad shape. But other times it doesn't show you anything at all. Okay. Oh, okay. Pretty pretty good so far, eh? Like this, uh, this area doesn't seem too bad. The benches are alright. And since I'm already here... Benches and chairs. Put two. Oh, 
I usually uh, don't do stuff early on, but I suspect since most of this is going to be on the exterior of the building, that doing this early on might, uh, might save us some time down the road. I'll drop that guy right there. And we'll quickly drop this guy right here. Uh, trash can, let's put it right here. Uh, we got two decorations. Oh, we're gonna do something simple like that, and we just need one food machine. And I'll just replace it with, with the ad before. Alrighty. Um, Lincoln, Lincoln, let's do this. Let's drop that down. Rotate. Rotate that. Um, ah, it's too bad. Anyways, we definitely know there's going to be some stuff in here we got to replace. Let's uh, check on this light. Ah, the lights have been destroyed. Get those on. There we go. We got our first trash bag. All right. Let's put that over there. Pull this guy out of here. We're gonna go, I think we need, what is that, three toilets? Yeah, three toilets. Let's grab that. One, two, three, one of these. One of these. Let me just turn off my, my light real quick since we got the lights on. Put that right there. Bathroom elements. Let's get our toilets out. Uh, rotate. Oh. It's very precise. Like that, like that, like that. Alrighty. Let's go back to those bathroom elements. One, two. Okay. Yes, we'll first mount these guys back up. One and a two. There we go. We'll go ahead and mount these guys like this. And I don't know if I got enough dividers. I did not. I still think I need one more divider. So let's go ahead and grab that first. There we go. It's crazy how many times I can hit that key and nothing happens. Okay. Now. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, because these jet out from the wall. Like, quite sig like, do you see like, how significant this comes out? Right? Like, this is clearly from the same set. But... It's like bigger, if that makes any sense. <laughs> oh, that 
looks terrible. You know what? It's one of those European bathrooms. Let's just, <laughs> let's just move on. I don't, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix that quite well. Hey, you ever see one of those extra big bathrooms? You know where you just take a shit with the door open? It looks great. <laughs> That's really funny. Like, it's not even like a little bit noticeable, it's like a lot noticeable. You know what? Just for just for a participation award. There we go. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in there? Alright. I hope the other washroom doesn't have something like that. That's gonna be terrible. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's just as dark. I'll quickly repair this and I'll turn the lights on. Oh, it's already on. Okay. Okay, sinks look good. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. Good. Oh. Oh, thank you. That's actually quite nice. Bathroom elements is only four, so. I'm suspecting that we just do one of these things real quick. One, two, three, four. And a trash can. Easy enough. Oh, this one was merciful. So, sometimes when it comes to the washrooms in this game, there's a lot to do. Like, you have to kind of build it up. But when you have the... It's kind of nice when they make you knock it all down, because then you can rebuild it all the way up. But the other washroom is a great example of... Uh, how the game's mechanics kind of work against you a little bit. Because that, that's unfortunate that it, it, it does restrict you from placing things the same way. It almost seems like it was a different... Like, that's weird, right? Like, th this is bigger, way bigger than it should be. Anywho, let's continue on. So this door doesn't open. So we're going to drag our little bits of garbage. I'm gonna toss it down there for now. Because I suspect this is the way we're gonna be going. I can see that there's a busted trash bin. This is usually not at all how I do this. I usually clean everything first. But it's just my inkling that we're gonna be that we're gonna be kinda going down and out. Um, trash cans, we're gonna need three. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and drop it. Very simple design. We'll do one here. We'll do another one right here. And we'll do one kind of where the other one was. Two food machines. All right. There it is. Go with the vending machine and the snack machine. Two, two, two. It's too bad these things are sitting here because this is perfect as... For one of these, you know? You know what? Seems unorthodox, but I'm gonna do it. It's unorthodox as all hell, but I like it. <laughs> and decorations, all right. Let us go ahead and check this out real quick. Decorations. Now with big rooms like this, I really have no point, like no choice other than to do it like this. To grab the, um, I still need one more. Uh, we got one of these. Um, alrighty. Let us just start, uh, smacking these down. I'm just kind of thinking doing like, uh, like, uh, let's, let's stagger that actually. Because if we can do it like that, then we'll put, nope, let's go with this, and then like this, All right, you know what I'm saying? We'll pull out the two boy, like that, and you know what, I got a great idea. Let's, let's not put down this one, let's pull out one of these, I'll actually just put it in this back corner, right? Back into the decorations. Uh, this is the one with the round bottom. We'll sell that one. 
all the way to the bottom. Like that. Old seating has been capped off for that. Gives it a more cleaner look. Um, this looks pretty good. This looks like uh, we've done right. Let's continue. This is what I th always imagined what like a New York subway looks like. Like this look with the long, long tunnel. This is very effective use of artwork assets to make you know precisely that this is somebody's sleeping spot. Very good. Interesting, I don't think I've actually seen... Unless, unless I don't remember last episode, if you didn't watch it, um... Unfortunately, I came in, like, with f full of piss and vinegar when I started, and then... Probably within 20 minutes, I was... I was exhausted. I should have actually stopped the recording, but... I really did want to get the recording all finished and complete. But, holy smokes, I was tired. So I may have very well missed that prop in the last one. As the last mission completely contained only um, kind of like homeless props. But I don't recall if I remember seeing that design. There is clearly a lot more to this place than I am giving it justice here. Because this... Okay, so I came from there. I'm about to get blown away, aren't I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. It's huge. It's a huge station. Wow, okay. Well, let's continue on. This one certainly is a large station, but something I am noticing right away, though, is that I have not done a single objective yet. Just, just been doing cleaning and then like those little random things here and there. And like in the washrooms and then like, what, the one thing in the office, I think. In the little lobby area. And we are, we are already at 23. And we've tidied this area up pretty well. Is this the spot that I've seen where the bins are going to be? Yeah. I'm thinking we're going to do a little, little of that situation. Oh yeah. Give me all that good stuff. This is some uh, inspirational music right here. Sounds like I'm about to go on a voyage through the stars. <laughs> the universe is made. <laughs> Oh, I got this confused. What's wrong with me? Jeez. Oh, there's three. Okay. Okay, I don't know how, how I was missing that. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Well. Because these, these platforms are actually quite high. Oh. Oh, they actually have some random ones here and there, too. Oh, no! Oh! The lighting screwed me. Okay, let's grab this. Because I'm thinking... This is very odd spacing. The state the least. I didn't realize the blue one fell off the station platform. Ugh. Ugh, get over there, please. God damn it. Get up there. There we go. Let's go with the next. 
mixed. And here we go. Is any of this to be taken down? No. Nope. This is all clean over here. It's really weird that that counts as something I can grab because it looks like it should be something that's just not takeable, you know, because it's a safety item. Okay, am I right? Is this the garbage one? Okay, awesome. Drop it there. Excuse me. This is a very odd spacing, though. Not gonna lie. The way they have the platforms. It would have been nice if, uh, what is this, platform two? Would have had one bin uh, spot on each. Even if they did, like, on each side of this, would have been great. Instead of having um, them spread across like this. Because I could definitely see, um, without proper planning, which I do not have, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of ferrying of materials back and forth across tracks or through this tunnel here. But we'll make do with what we have. Um, the station for the most part is pretty clean. It's not a disaster, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I was hoping I can get that lobbed up the stairs, but that's okay. We'll drop down that uh, segregated bin right away. Let's go ahead and get a segregated guy. All right. This game is so relaxing, so peaceful. But isn't it funny that if you were to actually do this, it would not be the greatest thing in the world, would it now? It wouldn't be that relaxing at all. It truly is due, due to the mechanics of the game does it allow you to have a relaxing time. So you're just sitting back relaxing. But if you're actually to do this, this is this is a this would be one hell of a decent night of work. Oh, 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 come on. That was, that was Dece. That was Dece. Unlike my hopping skills. Modern Warfare 2. Glitching maps, come on. Yeah. Do you guys remember that back in the day? Modern Warfare 2. Bloody, <laughs> just glitching right on the map. Sniping people from a distance. Hey, you know what? This is this is actually not that crazy bad in, of a condition here. I'm gonna turn on my light because I do need a little bit of extra right now. Now, instead of switching between tools, I'm going to do one first, and then I'll get back with the other. Alright. Oh, it's the worst thing you can feel sneeze coming on. Oh boy.
Oh. Just about missed it. just makes it a little bit more streamlined. We take our crowbar, we start whacking. Could you imagine if the game was incredibly realistic, where imagine you had to first pull out... You would first have to pull out your tools to loosen the tie from the rail, then grabbing the shovel, <laughs> shoveling out the gravel around, grabbing a piece of lumber or a, a new tie from whatever location putting it back under putting the gravel in <laughs> pulling out the uh, pulling out the rails or the uh, the nails for it and then having to do like a little mini game where you tap them in that would be, that would be very very tedious but it would definitely be very realistic I am almost positive, if they would have added that mechanic to this game, this would have gone from like fairly, fairly positive to, to an immediate mixed. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Hi dudes. Ah! Get up there, go. I should have double checked that far in too. Okay. Boy, they certainly weren't lying about the the it being pretty decent. I do see what appears to be some rails. You've seen that, right? That ain't just me that was thinking that that these should be replaced. Or at least grinded. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Uh, three departure boards. We're gonna go with the American one this time. One, two, three. I got a food machine. Let's go with another snack machine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, I see. These are just uh, right there. Like these. Like these. Like these. This thing's huge compared to the other one. Okay, I'll try to find another spot for this. Um, maybe like right here? Against this post to build my brick? Let's do that. Alrighty. Our first platform is completed. Let us move on to the next platform. If it wasn't so tedious to move stuff, I would definitely wouldn't have put the bins down, but it is what it is. Um, what do we need then? Six trash cans again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Departure boards. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing. 
go with the coke machine. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of trash cans, you know what I mean? Halo 2? Okay. And we're going with the same situation with this one, too. Okay. Oops. Let's go with the snack. I'm not trying to jinx anything, but so far this one has been fairly straightforward. It's very nice. Been a uh, very chill. Let's go with the uh, thinking we're doing one of these. Like that. With one of these right here. It sure looks to pick and choose what it likes and doesn't like. There we go. There we go. And we'll drop one right here. And there she is. So, if I'm not wrong, is this the locomotive that we need to fix? Let's ping. Ah, oh, yes. Quite a bit. Let's bring out that socket wrench here. Oh, so this one has the same layout as that one hump yard that we were at before. It's basically the same thing. It's going to be on the other side too. There we got 50. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Move the locomotive onto the turntable. Hey, we got another plot of land. How cool. So, it does say move the locomotive, but I don't believe I can get into this, can I? So there's probably there's probably something I'm I'm not yet aware of. Can I can I use you to get up though? Oh my goodness! Get up there, please. I almost missed it. Mm. Oh my goodness, I feel like if I actually get in here, I'm gonna glitch myself and not can't get out. 
Because I don't believe this opens, does it? No. So there must be some sort of switch. I'm supposed to activate. So it is saying for me to move the locomotive onto the turntable. No, I can't pick that up with the... I don't know of any rail yard that would just allow this to happen. Having squatters in between is definitely... Definitely kind of insane. Let's go ahead and grab this. Grab this. Waste of space. I'm actually surprised to counted it. Let's see if I can kind of do a little. Oh, that was a glitch and a half. Me picking this up should not be making that noise. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. <laughs> now, are these short enough to go in like this? Unfortunately, they're not. Some of these are way bigger than others. Try to fit more in there, but it is what it is. There we go. Let's grab this one, throw it in there. Oh, her was like the sound director for this game. Not cool. I'm gonna clear it out. See if we go.
Oh, isn't that strange how they designed this? Okay. Goodness. There. Oh, wait, that sucked. Okay, that is, let's get going. Let's start with this. We're getting a lot of glass from this. That's, that's gonna be nice. Oh. Oh, I see there's one behind it too. All right, all right. The other ones we were in before, they were pretty, quite small in comparison to this guy right here. Even with like the height. Sweet. Now this is going to be the embarrassing part because I actually do not know what to do for the next part here. Because I'm not sure how I'm supposed to go. It says move the locomotive onto the turntable. Like, the game has screwed with me before. Like, don't get me wrong, it has screwed with me before. First, repair the turntable. Uh... What do I need, guys? God, wouldn't that be funny? Let me just do my sucker wrench to it. Okay, so you know what? Let's let's figure out that part first. 
because this thing is clearly lined up to this rail right here. So let's figure it out. Okay. Thank goodness. That we did that. You know what? Since I'm here again. That's ridiculous. Ten trash cans, guys. Crazy. It's like the boys are just throwing out numbers that day. Okay, let's do that. Clocks, four. And then decorations. So I figured out what we needed to do. Um, the, the whole thing where it's like move the train, you know, most of this game you are completely by yourself. You, I don't even want to see most of the game, it, that is the game. You are completely by yourself. There is no point where, you know, where you've asked for assistance with really anything. You know, there was one mission in where you moved the train. That was the that was the right mission where the train needed to be moved. So you're the one that you know pressed the button, the train moved. Yada yada yada, right? This is the first time where it's like, yes, I have to go to an office to call somebody. Which that's great, you know, that's a variation in the game. I do appreciate that. But boy. So like, understandably enough, I should definitely pay attention to how hitting tab will open up my objectives. But when you see in the top, uh, the top left, when you read that, does it not make you believe that you are the one that's going to be moving that train? Right? Move the locomotive onto the turntable. It is worded in such a way where you do believe, like, oh, it's going to be me who's doing this, not, not, a, not a random phone call. But a. Uh, but me. <laughs> the player. The individual. So that. That really threw me off. I went to go check it up quickly on my phone because I was. I was so stumped. Like, what am I missing here? Because the game has indeed. Um, I have found it to be bugged on several occasions. Like, you guys don't see it because, you know, it's. It's just a part of the recording. But I've had four sessions now of um, these these levels just completely crashing. Um, it happened a lot on the... It's like the second one, the one that's like um, the Florida map. Which of course it would be the Florida map that would be crashing all the time. <laughs> you know what, I was going to change it, but I am so... I am so salty. <laughs> yeah, I'm only salty at myself right now. But, hmm. Let's get that over there. Oh, I missed the ticket machines. I'll make sure I'll put those up right away. So. This, uh, this tunnel's not going to look the sickest. As I usually try to do my decorating. In these games, but I'll still try to make it look like something here. Something presentable. Doop. And then, uh, doop. Two tick machines, I believe it says. Let's go with one, two. Now, the great thing about this so far, because of the way that I have tackled this map, is that we're not going back for anything. So it says the office, so I'm assuming we're going upstairs, right? Uh, like, come on.
<sighs> hey, we got a bullet train. That's gonna be really cool. I definitely have to dedicate one of these episodes to um, showing that off. Guys, how did I miss this? Oh, wow, that's bad. I just about missed it too, like. Uh, platform two, right? Yes. Okay. The turntable's blocked, alrighty. I'm assuming, I, uh, before we continue on, I guess, there is probably absolutely nothing over here that I need to be worrying about. Like, if I hit scan. Yeah. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Okay, there we go. And we're done. I was gonna say, it's funny how they don't show any animation in this game, but they do. A little bit. Uh. Oh, yes, because it's gonna turn it around. Okay. That this reminds me of is Thomas the Tank Engine. Awesome. to assume is this it yep so the game does give you a little bit of leeway which is nice to confirm I do believe this is all there is to it, right? I only have one paint color, but let's, let's get that cop. And all we gotta do now is clear this out. All in all, this one wasn't that this one wasn't actually too crazy. Like I I found like the last one to be way harder in terms of like where you had to do the amount of material was crazy but this one it's pretty good then again considering that this was a train station that was still operational so i guess they couldn't really make it too too crazy bad but yeah i do i do like this level this was pretty fun i like the design of it um it was just a description that kind of threw me off. But other than that, this was, a, this was a great one. I want to thank you guys once again for joining me here on POV Gaming, playing another episode here of the train station renovation. Um, 
we are dropping new videos nearly every day now. So if you do enjoy um, this type of content, feel free to subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like. If you dislike it, give it a dislike. All right, guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.